Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Captain Eyebrows and welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 2. Kappa mode. <laughs> uh, we are... What are we going to do today, guys? Well, last episode we did some stuff. Yes, and today we're going to do some stuff as well. That's the plan. But more specifically, I think we'll continue on with making these thermal expansion machines. I think we made the reinforced machine frames last time, so all we got to do now, so simple guys, we're so close, uh, is make these blue ones now. So we made the gears, we set up the press, got that, got that, we just need these, right? Yes, so that, those are pretty easy too as well. Two as well. <laughs> I had too much coffee today. Uh, energetic and... Why? Did, huh? Wait a second. It says there's none in there. Did I just use it all? Uh, oh, this is plugged up. Plugged up like the toilet. Um, yeah, this filled up. So you know what we got to do? We got to put some void uh, upgrades onto our drawers. That's something I keep neglecting on doing. That way, if it fills up, it'll still put the items in. It'll just destroy them. Ooh, this filled up again, guys. Whoa! Okay, hello. Look at all that iron in there. That iron does not belong in there. It belongs in here. I guess it filled up. Hmm. That's another reason we need the void upgrade. <laughs> that would explain why my system's jammed up. Okay. Um. Let's see. Just need to get a few more planks here. I can hardly wait. Like, one of the machines we're making here is the sawmill, so we can finally stop with this one plank uh, per log business. Not that I mind the cost of it, it's just a real pain to craft it all the time. Okay, make a bunch of those. Uh, these are really easy to use. All you gotta do is right-click on the barrel with them, or maybe even on the controller here. Let's try that. No. No, you gotta do it on each one, then. And then it makes this little icon in the top right that shows that it's going to void the items. So let's just put this on all of these. And we're also going to put these onto our mob system drawers here. That way we will never have to worry about the mob system jamming up again. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, yeah, because like most of these are full. Quartz was full, iron was full. Um, that's why... Oh, I forgot where I left off here. That's why there's a bunch of items just sitting on the spikes here still, I think. Yeah, you see how it's doing this again? So that that will never happen again, I think, once we do this. Uh, I can't put one in here because I already put five obsidian upgrades in there. If we take one out, what happens? Do the items just fall out? Or was it not quite full? Maybe it wasn't quite full. Okay, so we'll throw a void upgrade into there. Uh, I was thinking about this today. This is this is kind of a a weird thing. Don't ask me why. <laughs> but whenever I mention drawers, like these are jungle drawers, it must be very weird for everybody in Europe because drawers means underwear. <laughs> so I'm talking about my jungle underwear. Uh huh. Just just a fun fact. Energetic alloy. Yeah, very good. So we're getting energetic alloy in our system again. That's great. Uh, we're also going to need a bunch of zombie heads here. Uh, and I thought we would check out our safari nets. I caught a bunch of zombies and just threw them in our system here a while ago. Uh, some of these might be zombie villagers and we should check those out because it sounds like you actually can't spawn villagers in a mob spawner. <laughs> it's been disabled. Uh, so what we want to do is cure a zombie villager and before it converts, catch it again. Uh, so this is not a zombie villager. And we'll get some mo some more zombie heads this way too as we check these. Okay, so I guess uh, let's go ahead and make this reusable safari net. I think we have one gas tier only. <laughs> so that, that worked out pretty good actually. Uh, I checked, I think, 23 safari nets and one of them, or 24, one of them actually is a zombie villager. So we're going to cure them with this uh, syringe like we did last time. Then we're going to catch them really quickly afterwards. So if we put this into the, the mob spawner... Uh-oh. Spawner? Which one is it? 
this one over here, the auto spawner. Ooh, that takes draconium. <laughs> oh no. Uh, well, if we ever make that and we put this in it, it should spawn zombie villagers that get cured uh, right after they spawn. Uh, capacitors, energetic alley. Okay. Uh, yeah, if it turns out we can't spawn villagers in the, the auto spawner, now we have an alternative. So that's that's really good. Look at all the capacitors. That's awesome. <laughs> that farm. I'm so glad we made that farm in the nether there. It's working out great. Um, and then zombie head. Let's not do all of them, actually. Wait a second. Let's, give, let's get some of those back. Yeah, so that's making the, the thingies. Uh, this thing is out of space. <laughs> I just will put it over there. Get this going. This is going to take a little bit of time as well, probably. So maybe while we wait for that uh, to finish, guys, we'll start another little project here. I just made a harvester, and we're going to see if we can use it to make a tree farm, an automatic tree farm. We're well over the time for us to have one of these. <laughs> I'm tired of chopping trees manually. Uh, so if we grow a, a mega rubber tree sapling over there, let's actually pick this up just in case I got the range of this wrong. I think it's a seven by seven, right? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's only five by five. Okay. Well, I made a nine by nine upgrade, the copper one here. So we'll put that in, give it some power and see if it'll chop down the tree. Oh, that's a bad spot for the power. Put it on the side of it. Okay. Okay, it's not chopping the tree down, right? I thought it would. <laughs> Why would it not work? Oh, it, it does. It just takes a little time to find it, I guess. Okay, is it going to do the whole tree? Oh, that's so cool. Look at this. This is shooting bajillion items out here. This will give us sludge as well, so we might want to look into making a sludge boiler so we can take advantage of that. And also, I think to replant, we need a planter to put the sapling down. And that's fairly cheap too. We could do that. Okay, so is it going to get rid of the leaves? That's my big question here because this is a nasty tree. I think it's going to work. It just takes a really long time. Sludge boiler. Okay, cool. So we got the planter here, and we also made the sludge boiler. What we're going to do is just put the planter underneath the dirt. It faces upwards, and I think if you you put your saplings in here, yeah, then it goes right above. It does a 3x3 three three area, though. We don't want that. So I made the cobblestone upgrade. That makes it a radius minus 1. So instead of a 3x3, three three, it's just a 1x1. A, one one. a single sapling should only get planted now, right? No. Out of power? Out of power. <laughs> okay, let's put that down. Yeah, so now it's only doing one sapling. And that's good. So that'll grow. It's a 5x5 five five again. Good. Uh, even though there's dark spots here, we don't have to worry about those. There's a mod that makes it so uh, mobs don't spawn on logs. So this should be safe. Okay, cool. So we got power running to the harvester and to the planter. We're going to put in a lapis upgrade as well. That'll, that'll make it chop down a 5x5 five five area. So hopefully it can find the whole tree with no trouble. I don't know if that's necessary. It seemed to be chopping it down even without this. But yeah, we'll put it in anyways. Uh, so that's putting the items in the chest here. Problem is, once this fills up of sludge, it runs very, very slowly. So we need to set up the sludge boiler next to it. And uh, I had some sludge in there from before. So we give it power. And then it, like, poisons you. <laughs> Gives you nasty effects, poison hunger, if you're near it while it does this. But then I'm going to put a chest by it as well. It takes a sludge and uses power to create random blocks. Like it'll make dirt, clay, netherrack, a few other things as well, which might be useful. I think soul sands, which could be pretty handy actually. All right, so that'll pump the, the stuff into the chest here. Then we gotta start storing it. Um, and maybe we will also have a way of putting a bunch of mega. Well, there's actually a lot of space in here, isn't there? Maybe we'll just drop them off in here. That'll last a long time. <laughs> Check that out. That looks really cool, actually. 
all the leaves are just about gone off the tree. And it's just the branches left. <laughs> At first I was like, man, that tree looks like it's dead. What happened to the leaves? And it's like, oh, there is no leaves. Yeah, and it's getting rid of the branches now. Good, good, good. So maybe let's go check out our, our thingies, our machine frames here. See if they're done. Looks like it. Oh, we only got seven. We're supposed to get eight. Uh, what's missing here? I guess we didn't have enough lumium. I think we need two more ingots in there. Okay, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Let's uh, let's run through our different things here now. So we'll hand in our quest. Maybe let's go for the quarter heart just to be safe. I know there's not really a lot of danger in this series, but later there might be. Like, I know we got to do some draconic evolution stuff. I don't know how tough those bosses are or what to expect with them. Uh, the wither in this pack apparently can teleport later too. So just, just to be safe, we'll, we'll grab that. Uh, all the heart pieces we can. Because I'll probably do something stupid later. <laughs> okay, yeah. Let's run through all our, our different things here. There, we'll pick a reward bag. This one is Invar and a bucket. Most of these have a very similar recipe. Uh, we got the buckets. We need Invar. Just made up a big batch of that stuff. Okay. And the buckets. And a no. <laughs> what did I do wrong there? Invar gears. Oh, okay. They're not all copper gears. Let's throw some of these in, I guess, into our gear maker. Induction smelter. That's kind of like the alloy smelter. Okay, grab that one. Magma crucible, I think was nether brick. Yeah, nether brick and the leadstone energy cell. Made that already. And there, and there. Cool. Another one done. <laughs> this is the fun part. This is where we fly through them all. Another one done. Cool. Then Glacial Extruder. This makes snow and ice. Excellent. Another one done. Uh, put that back in there. I have no inventory space. <laughs> All right. Claim that one. Uh, Igneous Precipitator. Is that not an extruder? It is an extruder. Okay. Why does it have a different name? Good. Claim that one. Oh, I opened the reward bag. Uh, reinforced compound goggles and jump boots. What are these from? Erebus. Or Erebus. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> uh, okay. Cool. No! <laughs> I messed up, guys. I made an aqueous accumulator, not the extruder, which was not one of the things we needed. So I just wasted a machine frame, which means we might need to make more. Kind of stinks. Oh, well. Not a big deal. Let's go ahead and also do this one. And then it says un it unlocks a new quest, which is really good. Phytogenic Insulator. Yes. <laughs> Everybody knows what that is. We have like 10 of them in our homes. Okay, so that is all of them done. That unlocks a quest. Is it one of these main branches? It is not. Hmm. Okay. We're 57% done Delta here. Maybe we'll take a break from it. But yeah, we got all these machines and all these reward bags. Let's check these out. Falling belts. Good stuff. A basic bin. Oh no, another one of these castle things. Elevators, yes! Okay, ultimate bin. And one left. <laughs> no, more of this stuff. <laughs> uh, we, we've gotten this one like three times, and I don't really need all these pieces. They just jam up my, my chest. Okay, how about this, guys? I lowered our gear press down by a block, so maybe it won't look terrible if we put our machines here. <laughs> These are sort of our oddball machines, um, which we don't really need to use a lot, but it's good to have them. Fluid transposer we'll put next to the magma crucible. Uh, I don't know what else we really want. This one, I think, duplicates uh, seeds and plants and stuff. Oh! Oh, our machine just got squished. Give that back. That's our sawmill. <laughs> That's like the most important one we made. Uh, induction smelter, also pretty useful. Put that below there, and that, and... Oh, there it goes again. And that. Yeah? Looks pretty bad. It'll work, though. Okay, the sawmill, let's, let's take this over to our tree farm area here. Maybe we'll just grab this in case we need some. And let's see how this works. So 
It's going to need power for sure. But if we could... Hey, taxes, you're in the way again. If we could like send all the planks we get, or the logs, into here... It's very quick. Okay, that's good. Now, if you take the planks, can you get sticks from these two? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so how many different items do we actually get from this sledge boiler? Let's check that out. Uh, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve different items. Okay, that's, that's what I'm seeing here, too, pretty much. Okay, so we're going to get twelve different items, plus the, the wood, the rubber, and the saplings. The wood, I think we will convert into planks just right off the bat, right? I don't think that's a bad idea. Um, and the storage, like we got to set up some storage for our tree farm here. So maybe we'll just put it in the side of the windmill here. Would be a good place. This will be our balcony block of choice. And it'll kind of run along like this. And I guess let's put our drawers and stuff at this level here. Yeah. Or should we, no, we have to keep this stone there, right? So we can see it from that side. So, <laughs> what am I doing here? Uh, this will be for, like, the planks. This will be for the rubber. This will be for the saplings. Uh, I'm going to set up another one here for sticks. Maybe one for crop sticks and maybe one more for something else. Or maybe we'll put chests in one of these. I'm not sure. And then for those 12 items or so, we're going to need at least three of these, right? Yeah, I think that's right. Okay, cool. I made another controller as well, so we can put that at the bottom. Okay, another good thing about this, it seems to shut off if it has no more inventory space. So this chest is full. This stops chopping down the trees, which is good. It doesn't, like, shoot the items out everywhere. Um, so what I think we're going to do is just put the sawmill maybe down below here. And we will insert into there. It should only accept logs right hopefully and then we will extract from the left uh what do we want to do we want to get the red and or we want to we want to have it on orange so we get both of those items right and then we'll pipe it out here so that'll put the planks and the uh, rubber wood into here right turn that to inserts should go into it there yeah that's exactly what we want Okay, we don't want logs up here actually, so let's see if we can we can lock this in time. <laughs> and go. Yes, we got it. That's locked. The, the three drawers up there are for the sludge boiler items. Everything else here we want to either uh, just pull out of the chest or craft. So from the planks we get, we want to make chests because that's an item we use a lot of. So behind it, I put in a crafter with a chest recipe. That is uh, putting the, I the chest items into the drawer. We also got to pull from our plank drawer, which is right here, and put into here. So that will insert. This will extract extract planks into our chest maker. Yeah, it's filling up. Good. Um, we also want to put planks in here so we can make sticks. So then we will run a cable here, run our power here. Okay, why is there no planks going in there? Because this is still filling up. Once that's full, then they start going into here. Should make planks if it can get some power, or uh, make sticks, I mean. And then we want to also pull the sticks out of there and make crop sticks. So we'll run another thing, extract. This will insert. Okay, and this will be a crop stick recipe in this one. And that should be some of the main items we use here that we use the wood for. Cool. So put that in. Makes crop sticks. And we want to send those into our drawers as well. I didn't do that. So this will go on to push. And this one will go on push as well. Awesome. So that should automatically turn our planks into chess sticks and crop sticks. And let's rotate this back. <laughs> all right. Okay, cool. So all we got to do is get five more items here from the sludge boiler. Still waiting for those to appear. <laughs> uh, they will eventually, though. 
fill in the rest of our spots. I put void upgrades on all of these so that we don't have to worry about uh, things jamming up. Except for on the plank one. If this is full of planks, uh, then... Well, actually, no. We don't want void upgrades on, on these either, do we? Wait a second. We want the tree farm to, to shut down. Oh, if if this is full of wood. So let's take this off of here. This is a bad idea. Because <laughs> uh, it'll just endlessly make crop sticks and use up all the planks. Yeah, so none of the wood items will have void upgrades. So that if, if these are full, tree farm shuts down. Oh man, I did it again, guys. There's actually a quest line, Zeta, that... Uh, it's for Mine Factory Reloaded stuff. <laughs> so we've been doing all this, but I haven't been running through this. Oh, our, our chests are jammed again. Darn it. Okay, let's let's do this real quick here. Raw plastic. Easy peasy. Check that out. Got it already. Uh, we need to make a precision sledgehammer. Just plastic and sticks. Super easy. Uh, I think you use this to check out the range of a machine in... Mine factory reloaded. Maybe I'll try that out. I've never actually done that before. I want to see what it what it's like. Let's head over to our our harvester up here. It should show us a five by five area when we click on it, right? Oh, you don't even need to click on it. You just hold it in your hand. Look at that. That's cool. <laughs> okay, learn something new every day. Let's head back. Uh, this should have done a whole bunch for us now. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. We made our planter. We made a harvester already. Sludge boiler we just did today. Uh, oh, didn't claim that one. Deep storage. So that might be something we want to get into here. Let's open up our reward bags right now. More bins. Visible bedrock. Oh, that's a good one. That is a really good one. Might be the best one yet. That's a good one too, actually. Cool. Amulet of growth too. Really good good bags this time. <laughs> oh, I, this is going to be a problem. Problem is we don't have any storage for our ingots, right? I want an ME system, but we're not there yet. So it's like, do we set up something for three episodes or whatever? Or do we rush into ME? It's a, it's a tough choice. Well, I guess let's just check out this deep storage unit. This will help us make a choice of what we're going to do. Deep storage unit, and then we also need the label for it. Those are cheap. Those are really cheap. Let's make a bunch of them. Uh, if we put these down, can we move them afterwards, or are they kind of set in place? Oh, uh, here, let's put in some plastic. Hopefully that doesn't keep it as plastic forever. <laughs> uh, and then if we break this, it does not drop the items on the ground. Okay, that's good. This basically holds almost an infinite amount of stuff. So if you're going long-term storage, this is what you want, right? Uh, but it takes up space. It's complicated to set up. Can't use any, or we can't use the drawer controllers with these, I don't think. So do we use them? I'm not sure if we should. Let's try out this label now. Can we, oh, you got to shift, shift click it on. That's actually really nice looking. Oh, I'm surprised. <laughs> okay, that's good. Oh, and then you can click it like a barrel. Oh, that's really nice. You can't do that normally, right? Like if you click on this side, no, you can't. Oh, these labels are awesome. Okay, let's hand this in. Compact chance cube. I think we go for the reward bag, right? Okay, open that up. More soap. Maybe I can get your guys' feedback on this. I have a, a bit of ignorance as far as Galacticraft goes. So I'm looking at this. I keep hoping this gets unlocked, but it hasn't unlocked yet. Uh, to get to Mercury, though, which we need to do to make an ME system, what tier of rocket do we actually need? I've been clicking on these trying to figure it out. Like, that's Pluto. It doesn't tell me, though. <laughs> or I didn't see it anywhere. So I don't know a tier rocket or how far away getting Mercury actually is. There's no way to cheese it. I checked it out. Uh, mercury, I can spell. There's no liquid Mercury, so we can't get it from cows. Some of you suggested that. Uh, can we get this stuff from a laser drill or something? No, it doesn't look like it. 
I think we got to actually go to the planet, guys. So do we do we try to go into ME? Do we set up a big room full of deep storage units, or do we keep using these jungle drawers so we can we can use the controller with them? What would be best? Tell me, please. <laughs> I don't want to set something up and then like two episodes later, oh, it's time for ME system. Um, another thing we should check out though, if we're talking about storage, is the compacting drawer. Yeah, let's let's check something out here. So we'll go over to our storage island over here. Somebody said if you use these, maybe we will just pop it over here. Instead of using the drawers, let's let's use these maybe. Oh, why did that go in there? Oh, why random Oh, that's from our our main island. Right. Okay, so we can put something in there like like our energetic alloy. Now can we access it as both the block and the ingot over here? Let's find out. Um, energetic. So it shows nine blocks, 121 ingots. If we take out the blocks, do the ingots disappear? Let's try refresh it. They do, okay, so you can choose that way what you wanna use. Now just to be thorough here, I decided to try hook up a controller to a deep storage unit. Uh, just to see if you could do it. I, I really didn't expect to be able to because it's two different mods. Uh, and no, it doesn't work. So there's 256 items in this drawer, which is what it's reading here. It's not adding the six stacks plus 53 we have in here. So that's no good. That means if we want to use these, we have to run cables behind each and every single one of them uh, for it to work, which I don't know if that causes a lot of lag, but that's something we've got to do. And also put a remote access thing in each of those. Yeah, so that's that's a bit more than just using the drawers. That's why the drawers are so nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, so some some options to think about. Let me know what you think I should do or how far away an ME system actually is. But uh, I think we're going to wrap up here for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.